Tom Fisher and I'm a landscape painter. Today we are going to look into the process of cropping, manipulating and finding images to paint, all from your own photographs found on your own computer. And I find that for me and probably everyone else, especially those artists just beginning to paint, that finding a good image is a real challenge. Well, it doesn't have to be, you know. Uh, this is assuming that you save your photos on your own computer or uh, iCloud, whatever. Um, the editing software that I use is the uh, standard photo editing software that, that comes right on your own computer, and it came on mine, so you probably have it. All I did was a double click on my photo folder within my uh, uh, computer and then double click one of the photos um, to just start the editor up. And uh, the photo is then seen in full view on the computer screen. So let's look into the art of finding the perfect image. As you may know, it's a copyright infringement to copy another person's images or even to copy another artist's image. So um, how much better would it be to just do your own paintings from your own photos and realize that they're wonderful. That they're just as good as anybody else's and just as good as any other artist's um, as far as reference. Um, but I would venture to say that you right now uh, have many, many, maybe as many as a hundred or more um, images to make into potential great paintings that lie right on your own computer. Um, this, these, um, these can potentially be put on any medium, whether it be oil, acrylic, uh, gauche, um, um, uh, watercolor, whatever. Uh, so, uh, okay, let's let's get the computer out and begin this adventure and I'm going to show you how it's done. There we go. Okay, so that's not a bad image. I kind of like it, but uh, in itself it's just not that great a, um, a photo. It maybe has too much information and it, it might work for a really large 24 by 36 painting or something on that order. Um, but uh, Let's find all the possibilities here. I think that there are a few. Let's go and um, I'm going to go into edit. I've just opened the uh, folder and uh, this automatically comes up in my um, PC here. I hit, um, hit edit, hit transfer over and uh, go to crop. And we look here and there's a number of possibilities here. Let's do a, uh, that's about a 20, I'm going to be doing a 16 by 24 inch canvas. So that's a four five proportion, just like this is right now. Notice that I have the this crosshair coming in, this is automatic, comes with the program, comes right, right on your computer too, you have it too. And um, I like the idea that it has this forefront here, kind of sets it down, establishes it. This is hitting right on that line. There's nothing dividing, it's not dividing up the canvas in half or anything like that. Not a bad image. Let's do a crop of that. And I, I like that, that's very good. I hit, I hit done. I save a copy. So you want to save a copy of that. And that could be a really nice photo. I mean a painting. Let's, uh, let's do another one here. Um, it looks like up here are some possibilities of a uh, illustration or a painting. Let's zero in of, over there. Let's, let's hit um, crop again, edit, crop. Let's pull it down so that we can work with it. And four or five combination. 
Whoa, that's kind of neat right there. It's so unusual that I sort of like that image. Let's see where those um, third lines are coming. Okay, I like this, um, this stuff right here. Let's pull it down a little bit more. That looks really neat on this head heading here. I sort of like that. And this is kind of in a peripheral. Uh, this is like one third dark and one th two thirds light. So that makes a pretty good image. Let's, uh, let's hit done on that and save a copy. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's hit, let's go back to the same f file again. Hit edit. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's zero in on this side. All right. Here again. Let's reduce it down so we can move the painting around. Uh, this would give, it's, it's too much sky. It's like the same amount of sky, same amount of land. What does that mean? It, I don't know what I'm supposed to look at. So it, this is not a good image. I, I, I know you like it, but it's not that good. <laughs> so what we have to do, we, let's, let's take off some of these trees. Let's zero in a little bit more. See where those division points go. This is the, these lines are dividing this image up into nine equals sections: two verticals, two horizontals. This is uh, based on the golden mean, and it's not exactly golden mean, but it's close enough for uh, what we're going to be using for. We see that this dark image, this dark image coming across this bank, hits on the third line. That's pretty good. And um, right at this point, we've got some really good dark, dark and light right in here. Uh, we got um, the dark, the darks here are making an interesting pattern and the lights are too. So it makes a, an okay image. Let's hit that, save a copy. Let's go back once again. Um, edit, crop. Let's do a vertical format. We don't have to stay. Let's do a vertical format, maybe something on that order. Isn't it sort of neat that you can do this? It's all on your computer. You're able to do it too. Now this is showing this, this is up higher. This is, this is not no longer on the lower one, but on the top one, which gives a neat perspective. And um, I sort of like it. Let's move it around a bit. I sort of like this coming here. Let's see if that can hit at one of those crosshairs. Possibly right there, but let's move this down. Looking at a four or five proportion again. Not too shabby. Let's um, let's hit it. Save it. Save it as a copy. Let's go back to the original image. Not too bad. Um, maybe there's another image here. Let's um, let's edit here. 
let's crop pull it down maybe there's image right here there's a possibility there right here we have um, some lights it's less than uh, it's the lights here and the darks here are pretty much the same equals let's move so let's move it around a little bit let's reduce it down maybe open it up a little bit like this get a couple of interesting darks right in here so that could be a possibility of a painting right there. Let's um, let's hit that. Save a copy. Let's go back to the original image. Add it again. Crop. I sort of like that, um, <laughs> especially with this right over here and this coming up. It, I kind of move into the painting here and up, up this uh, reflection into this area, which is probably at the third level. This is for about an 18 by 24 inch canvas. This lays right on that, that line as well, as you can see. So let's take that. That's a good possibility for a painting. Let's save it. Okay, let's go back again. All right, let's try another uh, photo now of the same area. This is looking from over this area a little bit more, over left. I walked probably 20 feet and took another picture. So let's, let's see what that is. Um... Let's see. All right, here's a here's a photo that I took. It's uh, got this unique. Uh, it's a, it's the same thing from a, a different view, but it heads on and this uh, neat dead tree that's fallen into the river is kind of an interesting structure. Let's um, let's see if we could use that. Let's do an edit on it. Let's cut, crop. Crop it. I'm thinking of still 16 by 20, 4 or 5 proportion. All right. That's not too bad. Let's look at that. How that lines up. That's near this one of the focal points. This cutting on the th third. Um, this is sort of light. This is darker. Uh, this, excuse, excuse me. This is lighter, and this is a little bit darker. Um, it's an interesting one. I don't know if it's that great. Let's move in a little bit more. Cut that. Make this this line, this division line, hit right on that tree. We still have this to, to base the painting or to, to uh, settle the painting down. Let's take that. I like that. I think that's a possible photo. I really like that. I mean, a possible painting. I'll, I'll take that anytime. That's a save. Okay, let's go back again to that that painting and um, let's do an edit of that we do a crop again this is sort of nice sort of nice I kind of like I kind of like that image um, but you don't want it right in the center I think I'm going to zero in a little bit closer. Let's 
Let's go a little bit smaller on this so I can move the image around. Let's um, see if we can settle that on a third. Ah, it's right about there. See, it hits pretty close around that area. This is this bank is is on the top side here. Uh, not a lot happening here, but that's fine. I like an area where we don't have much going on, and then a lot of. Uh, if you you want to cut down on the detail and and a one third uh, complex and two thirds um, static is probably a good or you know where not much is happening is probably a good image uh, for a painting. Uh, you can see right there that uh, there's not much wrong with it. Uh, let's take a and hit that and save that as a an image too. Okay, let's go back one and uh, see if we can do another crop on this. We'll do a crop again. I don't know if we did this one before. Let's look at it. There is pretty, pretty nice one. Uh, this is grounding it again. I like that. This is on the third. Let's take that, hit that, save a copy. Fabulous. Let's go back and original. Let's just um, see if we can um, Okay, um, I have to find that image again here. This is that, okay. That's one that we looked at. Yeah, see we did this one, we did this one. Okay, here's the original again. Let's, um, let's do a vertical on this. Vertical edit. This is probably like for an 18 by 24 inch painting. Could put it down here. 18 by 24 is more like that. I think it's pretty close to that. That's pretty nice. I really like that one. That could make a good painting. Let's hit that and save that as a copy. Okay, so let's check out some of these that we've got. We've got this one, that one, this one, oh, well, not that one. <laughs> So we've got uh, a bunch of, from this original, we've got a, a lot of nice possible paintings. But let's, um, let's go to a different one now. Let's, um, this photo is one taken Let's, um, let's take this one. Okay, so this is a good, uh, uh, okay photo, uh, but too much going on there. I don't know what to center in on. So let's do a, let's do an edit of this and see a bunch of possibilities here. Hmm. Here's a possibility. Let's even go down smaller. I 
I think this would be work out pretty good. See where those division lines go. A dark area, light. Some darks right in this area. Very much lighter in here in this area here with this. Um, that's a possibility there. Let's uh, let's call that a save. Save that as a painting possibility. Okay. Here's the. Here's the original again. Let's um, let's zero in on this area again. Edit, crop, notice I'm setting this on that, for that tree. This could be a vertical format, could work out pretty nice. As you can see, it's a good uh, image. Um, we're stepping through the, it's got some dark light, dark light, and so on. Um, it's a possibility. Let's hit it, save, a, save that, go back again. Let's, um, let's do a crop of this tree here. I kind of like that. This could be a nice. See how I'm centering that crosshair right on that tree? And look at this. Dark, light, dark, light, dark. That's a pretty nice idea. Um, this is a little bit darker over here, so it keeps us from, from going off screen. This kind of pulls us into this area and this kind of pulls us down. It's, it becomes a pretty nice image for uh, so woo, whoops undo okay let's do that again Okay, I'm going to pull that down and get, again, let's see how that is. Okay, that's pretty close to what I had. All right, that looks okay. Let's um, save a copy of it. Let's go back to the original image. Not bad. Let's see. See any other paintings here? Let's uh, well, let's do another crop here, similar to the other one on the other one. Let's see, maybe. That makes a, a sort of, for a good uh, abstract. For a good abstract. Uh, image, so let's hit it. Save a copy. So uh, I'm sure that you get the idea now. Um, so don't, uh, don't ignore your computer as a real help in generating ideas for paintings. They can do really well. Um, use this this um, sectioning off this golden mean idea where you divide it up into thirds, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Continue to do that. That's a good idea. And um, to use those crosshairs, that's a, a valuable thing. Uh, you can 
there are other good um, design factors and so on, not using them, but but in general, um, it's a good rule of thumb. So um, happy cropping and happy editing of your photos, and you're going to come up with a lot of great photos, a lot of good painting images that you didn't even know you had. And you can do this for architectural subjects on on uh, landscapes, uh, rural, urban, no matter what. This cropping and editing is very useful. Uh, the great photographers all do it. Um, and that's what generates a good image. You just are not, most people are just not that great to get that group, the the right image for a painting right away. And when you're new and you're a novice, you feel, you look at your photo and you say, hey, there's nothing there. Let's let's do one for random. Let's do a random one. Um, I'm going to even close my eyes. I don't know. Let's let's pick it. Any, anyone. I don't know. Let's pick this one. I don't know. Let's pick it up. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this is a challenge. No. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this is an interesting. Not a lot going on here, but let's see if we can find one or two. Even in this. If I can find one in this or two, then maybe there's a possibility of a of a brush image here. I like I like this dark image, a band that cuts across very abstract like. Um, this is cutting across pretty nice. Let's see where the division lines are. Okay, um, let's see, maybe we could move, let's move the thing maybe here a little bit more. Okay, now we've got the division line right here. We've got this coming across here. Um, not too shabby. It's not cutting it, there's no halfway point. This is, this is cutting it um sort of a 45 degree angle here which is not too bad we have this thing to stop it um let's see is that would that make a good image hmm okay here we are back again that makes a pretty good image so let's let's crop that Let's go back again and uh, let's zero in on this up here. Maybe there, maybe there's a something up there we don't we know about, or don't know about. Um, I can't know until I look. <laughs> so let's go up there. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's not, this is not so-so. Okay, so we found one possible painting here, but um, not every painting, or not every photo will uh, render a painting, but a good, a good photo of a good, uh, you know, an average good photo should, should get at least one painting or two or more. Um, typically I've known on uh, when I went to, to plain air events that uh, people would move around all the time and they couldn't find something. But uh, for, as for me, I've been painting such a long time that uh, just turn around and you should be able to, uh, wherever you are, just pick a spot. You should be able to find them one or two places to paint. So um, that's another good idea. So, remember this, that the computer can be very helpful in generating some good images. So, um, let's, 
let's go back to some of these photos that we we've cropped look at some of these images I'm just gonna go over here and um, we're going to I'm just going to page through them really quickly these are all from the same area right here nice So you can see right there that um, that one photo could have generate. Um, it can. Let's see. I've got so many cropped here. I got about um, ten to fifteen crops in this area, all from one photo. I've got another one um, of the other side um, got a number of crops as well let's look I've been doing some cropping on these same images before let's check them out Here's a second that's a, this is of one of the same area I turned around. Okay, let's go back to this one. Here we are. Remember this one? Okay. So there are multiple, multiple things things and multiple ways to generate new painting ideas so I don't think I'll have any more tr trouble will ya <laughs> so I will I'm going to do this every once in a while and show you different ways of crop and so on and um, so stay tuned and we've got some great things coming in the, in the future Uh, look somewhere um, in on my YouTube page there. You'll find all, uh, some thumbs up and thumbs down and a like and unlike do those. Hopefully you'll hit the like and rather than the unlike. And then then uh, subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. So, so long.